Hi there, Grade 11s. Uh, Today is the day we starting our engineering graphics and design pack. I've got this pack document here which I'm going to send to you um, and then you can download it. So what we are going to do is um, we are going to do only part one today. So this video only covers part one today and I will have a few other videos uh, and hopefully we will be able to put um, the SPAT uh, together in a period of three to four weeks. Uh, yeah, so the first thing that we are going to do is that uh, we are going to look at the scenario that the PACT basically presents and everything basically stems from the scenario. The whole design process stems from the scenario that's given. So if you look at the scenario here, it speaks about, and I'm just going to touch base on on the core items of the scenario. So the scenario here, and you can read it on your own. And uh, the scenario basically speaks about the, uh, the mayor of a particular town, which we don't know which town, but you can make up a town anywhere you feel that the town should be. Um, so a lot of the things you can actually make up and create a real life situation uh, to the scenario. So the, the mayor of this specific town has asked you, now you, that's a very important person, you, you need to explain your credentials and you need to explain uh, a little bit about yourself a little, uh, a little bit later when you do your design brief. Um, who you are, what you do, um, which company you work for, and so on and so forth. So the mayor of this town has asked you to draw up some plans for a new community hall, um, and that the construction needs to get underway, but before that you need to present uh, detailed plans to the municipality of that specific town. Uh, they have indeed managed to secure a corner plot um, as indicated below. So there's your corner plot and I'm going to speak about the corner plot in a moment. Um, and then this uh, community hall must be a small to medium size one uh, which would comfortably uh, be able to seat up to 300 people um, of that specific town. Because apparently the town does not have a community hall. So it's important that you have a community hall in that town. Um, and then part of the specifications that uh, in the hall itself, um, housing 300 people, there should be a stage, there should be a little foyer that as you arrive at the, the hall, um, as you know how halls are. Um, so you can uh, perhaps, you know, think about your own school's hall. Um, at your specific school and maybe just get an idea of how things are uh, set up there. There must be a small kitchen uh, and a small storage facility somewhere. Um, so the wall will probably be rented out on a weekend basis um, to various community, um, for various community projects and, and functions. And then there must be a men and women's bathrooms, toilet facilities available. Right, so this is the corner plot and we speak about a corner plot so we are talking about um, Ernie Street here and Clarsen Street there which makes this a corner plot. There's an island there. Um, so this is all road. That is another plot on the opposite side. Um, there's the entrance to the plot. There's nothing currently on the existing dwelling. There's nothing here. There is a pipeline though with a rotting eye. Uh, these thick lines here are the um, boundary lines. And then of course you have a building line that is long short, long short, which you learnt about in your analytical, civil analytical uh, component. So this is an open field. There uh, is a contour line that runs across here just to indicate the height. The lengths of the boundary uh, are given here on the sides there, 37, uh, 800 meters, uh, 31, 
800 meters and so on there is a pavement here as well and this piece of land is called earth 127 this entire plot is called 127 128 is on this side okay so that's very important so if you look at the six meters here building line that means the distance from here the boundary line till there across that is six meters if you look at this zero comma five meters that's half a meter and you will also find that the road is uh, four meter eight hundred and this road is also four meter eight hundred the opening is also four meter eight hundred um, and then you have various heights here or corner corner heights there you can see the corner heights at each specific corner so that makes up your your plot which you are going to build on so you're going to design something that's going to fit in perfectly on this plot over here all right so if we go down um, you need to do a presentation um, so there will be a pet file that has a front page an index page and there will be assessment forms which I will provide and the declaration authenticity will be provided by me okay the declaration of authenticity basically is a document stating that the, all the work in the pet you have done and you haven't copied any work then if you look at your specifications um, in bulleted format the total floor area should not exceed 400 meters square so we will be looking at that specifically when we are going to look at part two our designs there must be storage facility and a kitchen um, and building cupboards the kitchen must include a sink space for an oven and fridge um, the women's bathroom must include a minimum of two toilets and a basin. The men's bathroom must include at least one urinal, a toilet and a basin. Uh, a urinal is one of those components where men actually stand and do their business. Uh, you can research what a urinal is. It's mostly uh, found in these shopping mall bathrooms. Um, for the ladies if they don't know what a urinal is then the design must include at least two showers for men and two showers for females or women and this may be included in the bathroom or a separate facility okay there must be windows uh, frames either of steel and aluminium you need to specify the external ex external walls must be 230 plastered internal walls must be 115 not plastered and the roof pitch must be 30 lights and electrical fittings and wiring must be included as well so those are your specifications with these items that I have indicated here in your scenario you know the stage the foyer the small kitchen the storage and those type of things are more detailed spelled out here all right um, then these this this is the entire pet that you will see here so you can read through it but we're going to do it in in different stages so the first stage is where you're going to do your design brief your specifications uh, and your research and we're going to stop right there only those will be due as part one very soon uh, and that is all computer work which i will show you in my video this is all computer work um, here from the two free and designs that will be part two which I will present another video lesson on how to design but for now we are only going to do design brief specifications restrictions of constraints and then also the research component which is very important all right so just take note of that so this document will be sent to you then to make it very easy for you as well to do the pet and specifically part one I'm going to forward this template in word format which means that you can edit all the information in this document 
right? So I'm just going to zoom in on it. So this is editable, which basically means you can download it onto your PC from your phone. And you can change, you can put in your school's name. If it's Rylands, Westerford, Grutuskir, whatever your school is, you can write, type your name in there. That, you, you can put a picture there, and I'll tell you later on which picture I want there. You can type in your name, and you know, your class, and, which is uh, grade 11 PT. And um, Now, this document, you can change the font, you can change the, the size, you can change the color. You can, I want you to do all of those changes. Um, you can make up your own front page, which is um, to your liking. But that information is core on there. Right. Then, your index has been created for you already according to the rubric, how it should be, the structure. This is the entire pack as it is here in your index. Right. So, please change that. Don't change the numbers. Leave the numbers as is, but change the format how you want this, the, the font, you can change all of that. You should have a management plan, basically just to indicate the delivery of certain components of the pad. So if you do a design brief, maybe today, you must just type in the date. If you do something tomorrow, so every time you do a specific component, you must type in the date. Like I say, you can change that. You can even take this and put it in a table if you feel like doing that. Um, you can manipulate it uh, to what you feel um, it should be like. I'm just giving you the core information. Then, learners, we get to our design brief, right? So here, you must write the paragraph. So you can take that out. I'm just giving you the guides. And these. so in the, in this paragraph, please tell us who you are. You know, brag about yourself, market yourself. You are this person, your name, and you can say what your job title is, and this gives you perhaps an idea of uh, career career opportunities you would like to pursue, and to see yourself in maybe five or seven years. Which company you work for, if you work for yourself, make up a company, doesn't matter. A lot of these things you can actually make up, it becomes your dream, your vision, to put it that way. Um, and then tell us what must be designed, based on the scenario, give reasons for your design based on the scenario in this document, right, there it is, you know, and then tell us whom you're designing it for, where will this all take place, please, you are going to tell me where it's going to take place, make up the name of the place or wherever you think this will all transpire, right. And then, how are you going to solve this problem? Briefly explain what you are going to do. The various steps, uh, and it should be steps of design. You know, you're going to say, you're going to uh, research, and you are going to put some sketches together, and eventually you will present it to the client. Um, and you can even say who the client is. And then eventually you will put some working drawings together. So those are the steps, and then you'll take it to the municipality and then it will be going through the various zones and then it will be approved. So on. those are the things that you can actually type. And if you take more than the required space on here, uh, it's not a train smash. Uh, change these headings to a font of your size and you know, your uh, color or uh, type, doesn't matter. The specifications and constraints, that's all one thing, restrictions, basically. Put them all together. So what you can do, um, I've made bulleted points here. You don't have to retype it. You can go into this document here, which is a PDF. And all you can do is you can um, just copy these things. You know, you can copy those things. The fact that it's a medium to small. So you can make short little um, bulleted points. You can copy that and actually paste that in your your specifications here, like that. Um, if you paste it like that, and then you can actually make small bulleted points by saying it's a small to medium. Um, 
and then there's your second one it includes a foyer small kitchen a foyer small kitchen and storage facility so you can do that and then you can even copy um, these specifications from the just highlight it copy and you go back to your word document and boom there you copy that in it you can just properly organize it according to the proper bulleted points but there you have your specifications you don't need to retype it I've copied in all my specifications right um, I can now delete all of that to make it nice and uh, organized um, you can of course fix that um, so that it doesn't have a double bullet like I'm doing it now okay perfect you just do that as well and then that and there you've got your specifications um, you can have some additional one if you want to um, maybe you want to say that uh, the wall will be painted white so additional painted purple right. I'm just using an example and you can add whatever you think what's going to be on the roof you can have tiles on the roof um, so you can put in tiles on the, the roof cover so you can have all of these additional ones to make up right so when you're done there, you have your specifications, you have your design brief. Now you are going to do your research. So what I would suggest is, um, when you do your research, you highlight, you're going to need to do research on existing community halls and their layouts, right? That's very important so that you can see uh, perhaps what the layout. So you don't just need to have one or two pictures. So I'm going to show you. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight that, copy, and then I'm going to go to Google search bar and just throw that in there and I'm going to just find some information and there, strategies, uh, let me just go down community hall designs, Google plan. Uh, most beautiful modern community centers in the world so um, you can go to any of these so I'm going to change this and I'm going to take away um, existing I'm going to remove that and I'm going to just look at uh, whole floor plans um, and just see what I can come up with and perhaps just go to images and there I find simple floor plans, so I can just select one. Um, there are so many here. Um, there's a little meeting room. So if I, for example, I can take any one of these. Um, I'm going to take a very straightforward one. Um, maybe I'm going to take this one. I'm click on that one. Um, and I can even choose some of these here. Uh, they are all looking like great. Uh, floor plans for different walls um, but I'm going I want to choose this one so what, I, what I'm going to do I'm going to open it up or let me just go back click and I'm going to save the image um, and just click here save and there is the image saved and I'm going to maybe do another image. I'm going to use that one and I'm going to save that image as well. There's another image that I am saving. Right, so what I now can do is I'm going to just go out of here and I'm going to go into my downloads um, and my pictures and then I'm going to just find those images that I actually 
saved and I'm going to copy one over into my Word document I research and there it is that's great and I can even have another one I'm going to go back to my pictures and take the other one and copy that one over as well into my Word document so it's all computer work. There it is. So I can just stretch it a little bit uh, and put it in the middle. There's my research in terms of that will help me to when I get to my design and you can maybe see whether it uh, applies to all the specifications here. If it doesn't, we can amend it when we do the design. So, But that comes a little bit later. So now things have moved so what I would suggest is that you just create the space again and bring it back to how it should be now you have to research small kitchens and storage facilities so you can look at small kitchens for example one picture of small kitchen so I'm going to copy that into my Google search bar uh, if I might just go back here so small kitchens delete into my search bar there it is and small little kitchens um, I can take any of these any of these I can take um, let's hypothetically just take one of it I'm going to copy say copy this image and I'm going to paste it right there, I hope it's going to work yes, it's going to work um, and so you can go with the next one which is storage facili facilities and then men and women's bathroom if you, if you have more than the required uh, or if you need more space in terms of your, your pages you are allowed to, to actually do that to have a page maybe for kitchens, a page for storage facilities and a page for men and women's bathrooms. So there it is. I've pasted. So that could be listed now as the um, kitchens. So I'm going to type in here maybe both kitchens. Right. That's my one research. So I can do another one. I can do a storage here perhaps on another page or below if I want to make this a little bit smaller so I can do that maybe put it all on one page make that smaller and then I can have um, sorry I just go back to that and then I can have storage here as the next one Let me just do it storage and that's how you can actually um, do your research so that you have all that in there another picture of storage facilities in here and then you can do the men's and women's bathroom all on one page or if you use two pages as what you think is required then very importantly people um, I just want to show you every time you are going to copy something from the internet you have to go into your search bar and copy the link please do copy the link that's very important because you have to paste the link into your bibliography to free us from plagiarism every time a link is used you have to copy the link in there um, we don't want to plagiarize we have to acknowledge that the work that you are copying is not your own and it belongs to someone who has uh, uh, uploaded it on uh, Google or wherever so you need to acknowledge that so I want to see those as well um, for example if you go back um, to wherever yeah you did that so you're gonna copy that link as well and you're going to just paste it in here every time you use a particular link to get to a specific research and that's where it's going to stop. Um, there is another page, uh, the selection of the final solution, but we are going to leave this page as part 
of part two when we are going to design one and design to design one and design two and we're going to have a rating scale and we're going to evaluate so we are unable to do this page at the moment and then you just save please save uh, your name EGD pattern your name uh, very important on your PC um, and keep it there until it is required of you to print it uh, or email it to me um, at a later stage but for now you just need to keep it until you are instructed to email it and once the entire pet has been completed yep um, that forms a full part of part one of the pet so there will be another video which will uh, look at part two um, yeah enjoy and I'll speak to you soon <laughs>